One of the biggest scams to ever hit video game dumb ever. At least that's what some people might have you believe, and I am no stranger to talking down about Star Citizen. I've gone on record on Twitter saying that if it's not a scam, it's at the very least heavily, heavily mismanaged. And years have gone on. I've gotten back into Elite Dangerous, and Star Citizen is now 10 years deep in development, so I decided finally, maybe there's actually something here. So I'm going in full doubt, but I'm opened to this game being a super ton of fun. I went off and bought the cheapest package that you could get, $45 for the Aurora ship that I've gotten. And I'm just gonna jump in and see if a new player like me who invested minimal amounts of money can have fun, have an adventure, and how quickly we run into a bug that forces us to start over. All right, we're making a character. I am also a man. And honestly, not a bad, not a bad start to the most tired looking man to ever exist on this planet. I guess out in Star Citizen world, they are not allowed to grow beards. Pick a primary residence. Yeah, okay, let's start, why don't we start in Area 18? Uh, you know, let's, uh, we're, if we're gonna be a Star Citizen in a game that has seen millions, if not billions of dollars from, uh, you know, individual investors, I might as well go to a place where I can spend my hard-earned space bucks. And don't you worry, I did use my good old friend Dan Giesling's referral code, so if he ever plays the game again, he'll get an extra little $5 or whatever he gets in virtual money from me. You know, we are awake. Cats are on board. Very dark where I live. So this is like my apartment. I don't think there's like persistence apartments yet, but you can log out on your ship and log in on your ship. I just don't know if the ship stays where you log out. Oh, whoop, whoop. there's like a couple things over here that I can... I'm holding down F, so this must be how you interact with things. Open. Nothing in there. Okay, well, open. All right. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. I mean, first impressions just in the room is the details insane. Oh, something sounds like it powered down. How do we, I'm assuming we just go over here. Yeah, and open. Wow, oh, it's bright. But it's so bright and yellow. <laughs> Dude, so bright. My room was so much darker. Port Olasar? Are you a fan of Port Olasar? Are you just gonna stare at me? You, you don't... No dialogue? Wow, that's really pretty. Multi-tool tractor beam. Thank you, game. Right on time. I don't think you can land in, like, cities and, like, explore a city. I don't even know if that's part of planned development. I wouldn't be surprised. The game has <clears throat> everything in development. Hammerhead. I love it. All right, this is just more living quarters, so it's like a U formation. Okay, ground floor. I don't think... I'm imagining all of these are just, like, where players can wake up. Welcome to, yeah, this is an apartment building. Is that a, ma'am? Where did I see you upstairs with a different, nope, nope, you're different. Same hair, no, might be the same part. Maybe a twin? Are you a player? Nope, no, no. Oh, don't look at me like that. I didn't know this was a horror game. Finds and citations. I'm an innocent star citizen. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Is there, how do I get my stuff? Do I, I know I bought a ship. I spent real 45 American dollars on it. You know, again, some Night City vibes. I like the neon look of everything. Very dystopian. There goes something. Uh, I guess we'll see what's in the Art Court Plaza. And while there's definitely some hitching, game seems to be running pretty okay right now. Wow, that's really pretty. That's cool looking. What is it, just a bunch of gears? Oh, really cool. I would love a soda, but I would love directions even more. Make it every shot count. What's down here? Was there a sign? How do I know what's where, everybody? Some signage would be good. Zone one, again. I don't know what zone I even started in. What's like, this looks like almost like a subway. Are you a player? Please lead me to victory. Lead me to freedom. Lead me to just anywhere. Citywide, oh, city flight transit. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The area 18 spaceport. Hey, we've got ourselves directions. Am I gonna have to take an actual up? Yep, train arriving. Whoa! Almost got IRL motion sick, like I'm actually on a train. Dystopian Nightmare Corp Hell. I love it. So I think on a server, it's up to 100 players at this point. And I know it's only one star system, but there's a lot of places you can go on the star system. I'm curious if slash when we'll run into another player and what it'll do. Also, this is like, an, like a real life train ride. This is taking just as long. You, you scaled up the city this big? For what? What reason? What purpose does it serve? Oh, oh, nice friendly little voice. You shouldn't open the doors that early. I could fly out them at any given point. So we should be at the spaceport then. Hello, I mean players. Riker Memorial Spaceport, the best number two that ever was. You're a wise man, my friend. 
Hello, are you a player? You look different. <gasps> oh, you are a player. Okay, bye, I'm sorry. Ooh, okay, we're somewhere now. This person's probably a player with that kind of outfit. Just kidding. What is this fleet manager? Oh yeah, all right, there it is, the Aurora MR. Yeah, let's retrieve it. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Hangar 11. So I think I have to use my little, like, what they call Moby glass. They were giving me tooltips about it at some point. Let me see if I can find my ship before I worry about accepting a mission. All three hangars. I am, like, living in a city. Oh, bye. It's like actually being in a city where nobody lives. How do I? There we go. Ooh, I can scroll in. Oh, yeah, baby. Sort of. Oh, when I scroll down, it scrolls out. There, Hangar 11. Hangar Bay 11, here we are. I love the volume, like the fog effects. It looks really cool, man. I, I gotta admit, like it looks, the, the scenery and the actual like level design is phenomenal. It just feels like almost unnecessary at this point. Oh my God, that tiny ass ship on this huge ass hangar. Are you kidding me, game? There's no like individual hangar. I couldn't feel more pathetic about my vehicle right now. Oh, there it is, the microscopic ship. <laughs> Such a freaking run, dude. Oh, there it is, baby. The Aurora, the cheapest sucker you can get to play the game. All right, F1, there it is. The Moby Glass, so this is kind of cool looking. I like this a lot. I don't know how much of it is actually valuable. Contracts Manager. And there's a bunch of different things we could do. How about we just start with a delivery mission? Because would it be a space sim if you don't start just delivering things? So we got to pick up a package from Shubin Mining Facility on Lyra, Lyria. Deliver packages to Artcorp Mining Area, okay. Accept your offer for $3,000. We've accepted it. Moby Glass down. All right, I gotta get in my ship. We can just enter it, but hang on, let's like look at everything real quick. Open the doors. <laughs> I got it, I gotta admit. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. If there's something Elite Dangerous is missing, it's, it's this, man. And I can see why people fall in love with it. Oh, I love it, dude. Oh, that's cool, man. Even for a tiny little ship, that's cool. What's this, like a little storage area? No, that looks like a, is it a medical bed or just a regular bed? Is it, can I even interact with it? I can, we don't want to. All right, let's enter the pilot seat. Oh, baby. All right, so hold R, I think. We'll turn everything on and make it flight ready. Mm, like the audio, I like the audio. I need to ask for permission to leave because I think the top is closed. Yeah, so hey, we'd like to go. You are clear to launch. There it is, opening up really, really slowly. Okay, I'm going to start trying to move the ship. I'm really nervous. Here we go. After almost an hour of trying to figure out why I could not take off from the starport, I re-logged and it's fixed. So hey, everybody's first first bug ate an hour of my time because I couldn't figure out if it was me or the freaking game. Can we please just get out of here? Thank you. Okay, I should be able to just get out of here now. Oh! I'm, why did that move me forward? I swear I'm a professional. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, you know. Uh oh. Thank you. Please... No! No! Okay, we're out. Okay, I think we're back under control. My ship is damaged. Yep, there we go. I can rotate the right way now. Okay, we're alive. That's all that matters. I lost my mission because I had to relog. That's, you know, again, acceptable. Uh, can I please just get a delivery mission. There is no delivery mission. All right, well, I don't really know how well this is gonna go, but we'll take the search one. This is on this planet, I think. Or it was on its way, it got attacked. That's, it got attacked, fantastic. I'm sure this won't, you know what? Let's also, let's grab this one. We'll do a cleaner. There's some, you know, we gotta go to a waste collection site. Basically, if someone's uh, got a little something they don't want found by the law, and you know, we're just gonna take it and get it out of there for them. Here's Lyrius. It's so many places on this planet already. That's a cool thing is that even though there's not that many planets, they all have a, you know, a lot of shit to do. How do I get rid of my landing gear? Oh, there it is. That's a good guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened to me? Hey, hey everybody. Uh, editing Mathis here. I was going in reverse. That's what happened to me. I, I was in reverse. Oh God. You know, I'm gonna take a guess and say some of the buttons that say they toggle certain things. Do not tar toggle certain things. 
because I toggle, I, I set up a toggle switch for reverse. I don't think I came out of reverse. So now we're in like medicine gown. Fantastic. Okay, let's figure this out slowly. Okay. It goes so fast. Hey guys, can you let me go? A uh, nice smooth exit. Let's bring our landing gear up. I remembered the button. Oh my god, we might actually get out of the planet on the third attempt. Okay, let's go to the friggin' planet. Seems like the map has uh, plenty of bugs as well. Things disappear on me and it's really hard to set an, a route. Maybe area 20. Let's go to area 20. Okay, we can actually do that. And I think we can just quantum our way there. We're pulling ourselves out of the atmosphere. And it's moments like these where I'm once again like, wow, this game is beautiful. And I literally just walked from a city to my ship, got inside of it, booted it up, and I'm flying it out of the atmosphere right now. When this game works, it is jaw dropping. Oh, there we go. Oh, we finally got to go into freaking quantum drive. That, that looks cool. I like it. And woohoo. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Like, that's so freaking pretty, dude. Love that. Just like that, we move on to that one. Oh, rip open that wormhole, baby. Just like I ripped open your mom last night. Audio design is phenomenal, by the way. Here's Lyria. Ooh, very cool. All right, we can't click on the pickup site, but we can click elsewhere. So let's go to elsewhere. I'm a little nervous because I don't know what this place is. <laughs> hey guys, editing Mathis again. Well, I was thinking about making you watch me travel all the way there to start that mission, but let's just save you and me some time, huh? Why am I pulling to the left? Like that. Turn off quantum drive. Oh my God, what just happened? Why did I blow up? All right, well, I'm in a hospital with freaking hospital gear on. When I like die, my mouse gets all glitched out. So I gotta, I have to relog. I'm trying really hard to love you, Star Citizen. I am, I can see the potential. So I got a weird personal mission. This guy wants to talk to me. I don't know why. I didn't do anything weird yet. I failed my illegal mission. I didn't quite succeed it. So maybe he got word that I was out there crashing ships in the name of crime and he sees a value to me. Why? Who the? Oh. Okay. Kind of off the beaten path, aren't you? The lighting in this place is gorgeous, though. I know. It's a strange place to hang out, but I quite like it here. It's quiet. Well, quiet. I'm Tisha Pacheco, but people call me Twitch. .tv slash math this game. Okay, officer down. Long time blackjack officer is on our payroll, so only decided to grow conscious and the new look doesn't suit him. Take care of them and any blackjacks that want to come along for the ride. Have a look. Sure. Thank you. All right, well, I guess I'm, I'm you know, screw us at, screw delivery missions. This is all what Star Citizen's all about, baby. Making the big bucks, doing the naughty things. I have a pistol to my name and nothing more, and that's really all I need. I think my favorite thing about dying is having to take that tram ride every single time. Hello again, Aurora. Hopefully you don't explode this time, but I cannot promise you anything. Huh? What's happening? Warning quantum interdiction alert. What? Uh, uh, uh-oh. I'm just a little man. Okay, well, they're gone. We're back in a quantum. I have no idea what pulled us out. There were multiple ships fighting. Maybe it was pirates, NPCs. I think that can happen. I know players can also pull you out, but I didn't see any players try to talk to me. Here we go. Oh, down into the atmosphere. Just be ready to pull the hell up. Okay, we're just gonna set out way out here. Mm, we're being fired at. Hey guys, hey down there. Listen, can I just come in? There's a guy down there who betrayed my boss. I just got to pull a bullet in his head. I know it's illegal, but a job's a job. Okay, oh God. All right, fine. You want to play tough? I grew up in the streets. This is what's called a drive-by blasting. Shooting. Ship attack. Oh God, oh God, no! Uh, 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 oh. 
Um, so I got sent to prison. Uh, I guess that was a legal, a legal place. I mean, that makes sense. You know, I was there to kill somebody, but, um, I'm in prison. How do I get out of here? 15 minutes. A few minutes later. Inmate processing. Yes, I'd like to redeem my good boy points. I have earned some good boy points to get out of here. Attention. Attention. Oh, attention. That's me. Cheers to me, y'all. Thank you. World, Sur surface level. Thank you. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And we're back, baby. Another huge. Oh, this hangar is so much smaller, actually. I'm determined to do one mission. Please do not kill yourself while I'm here. Investigate missing client Ivar Janeway. Listen, I am 100% good with that. Delivery. Oh, this is our light touch one. I kind of want to try this one as well. Let's try this and let like let's see what we can do with it, if anything. This right here, I'm very much enjoying. This is so simple, but probably the most immersed I've been in the game so far. All right, we're starting to hit atmosphere. As we come in, let's bring our velocity down. Ooh, there is a target moving toward the same area I am. There's a nice little clearing over here. We might actually pull this off, everybody. Oh, that, look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset. We did it, we're on the ground. Engines all the way off. Holy crap, we've successfully landed somewhere, everybody. I don't think I have a gun. <laughs> I don't think I have any weapon, which is kind of a bummer. Please, no be enemies. Uh, we've got 29 minutes out here. I do have a gun. I have my inventory? I can't see my inventory. That's why I didn't know I had a gun. I love it. I love this. This is cool. Okay, coming up. Pistol out. There's a busted caterpillar and some other ship here. This is neat, dude. Stuff I can grab. There's some emergency beacons. Is this a separate ship or is this actually just the cockpit? The front end of this ship. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Venture undersuit base. Equip. Search. I can't search him. Inspect. That's my pistol. Okay, I can't search him. Don't know if that's bugged or just not implemented. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, I can't go in there. Uh, I will refuse to go in there. That's fine. I don't want to... Make the game upset. Okay, we were in the ship. Didn't shoot me out this one. There's a lot of different things I could take here. And I do wonder what it is. Like, what is this? Uh, maybe shouldn't be grabbing it in the edges like that. I don't even know what it is. Quip. Core armor. Whoop. Venture core armor. It is on. Okay. okay I'll take that. <sighs> okay. How about your legs? I'll take your legs. Equip. This is nice. I can just do this. Well... We have a helmet on. Do we look super neat now? Hey, we actually look really cool. There's nothing really else here that I want, and we want this. Okay, got the cargo. Let's get out of here. Hey, this is beautiful, dude. The sun peeking over the mountains. I'm like, damn. Thought we had a 30 some odd minute survival estimate. Is it because the sun's going down? Is temperature changing? Again, that's such freaking crazy detail to add to a game <laughs> that. Okay, if we can get onto our ship successfully, we will have finally accomplished half of a mission. The furthest we've ever gotten. Okay, I, can I put this on my bed for now? Place. Just so I don't like lose it. Oh God, oh God, please do not. No, 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 no! Please be underneath. I, I, that was a mistake, I didn't realize. Oh, thank God. This is going on the floor. There's no reason for me to do anything else. I don't know why. Bro, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. I'm getting nervous, man. Okay, we, it's in our ship. It's in our ship. Uh, engines on. Lift. Gear up. Off we go. Oh my god, we're actually making progress. Okay, aligning with our escape vector to pull out of the atmosphere. Now, ooh, ooh, we're almost blacked out. 
Too many G's. Goodbye. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, we're coming in through the atmosphere. You feel it getting shaky. I don't want to boost. I think we're just going to kind of come in as slow and low as we can. After we cut through the clouds. Oh, that's cool. That's beautiful. We freaking did it, dude. We landed. Oh, we landed and we did not die. Oh, we are almost did it. We almost are done with the mission. And it all comes down to delivering a box after we teleport outside of our ship. Please just give it to me. Thank you. That works for... Yeah, you know what? That works perfect. <sighs> oh, Jesus. We're just in some giant scrapyard on the middle of this planet that... Oh, is sort of, sort of stable. Oh, okay. Don't look at it directly, everybody. It's very shy. Oh, sweet mother of all things that are holy. Holy crap. We made it and we're still alive. A difficult start. Is this where I put it? I cannot... I guess it's drop off. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. I just had to wait. Did I do, did I do it? Oh, it's still there. Oh, there's a place button I can do there. Oh, I see. Take it. Hey, we did it, yo! We did a mission! I made $9,000. Let's go! A successful mission was had after hours of trying. We did it though. I can't go in there. I feel so good with myself. We can't log out unless we log out in our ship. As we make our way to the ship, my final impressions of this game are very mixed. First of all, it's clearly very impressive and I don't think it was a scam, not on purpose anyway. I still am left with, <clears throat> after 10 years, you know, wondering where the focus is. It still seems like they're more worried about the weird minutia and detail with the exception of, you know, and not really worrying about getting a smooth gameplay experience. And I don't know how or why that's the case. Aren't they like 700 some odd employees that work? But with that in mind, it's still absolutely a fascinating and gorgeous and downright jaw dropping and impressive project when it's working. I would love to see kind of like almost like what Elite Dangerous did and just have everything they have here and just stop putting in new systems and just polish what you've got so that those who are, you know, jumping in now 10 years of development later, they can play something without having to go through what I went through, which was uh, a million friggin bugs. But that's just me. I still thought I had a really good time overall, and I think I will be back to try it again, especially if you guys want to see more Star Citizen, because there's a lot of cool stuff here, uh, and, you know, this would be a, a hefty project to edit. But until then, let's take a nap in our tiny-ass little bed in the ship that we continually glitch through. And with that, we say goodbye. <laughs>